Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to hook up your auxiliary hydraulics on the John Deere 333G. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. So real quick before we get started, if you find that this video helps you or you like this video, we just ask that you subscribe to the channel and that lets me know that I'm doing my job. So now let's go ahead and jump right in here, guys. Now this is going to be our auxiliary hydraulics on the John Deere 333G. Now these are gonna be the hydraulics that are used for the multiple attachments that can go out here on the front of this machine. We can take this bucket off, put on such things as tree saws, power rakes, multiple, multiple different things that are going to need hydraulic function going to them. So we'll go over real quick what these are. Here at the top, we're going to have our pressure side. And then here at the bottom, we have our return side. And then right here in the middle is going to be what's called a case drain. Now the case drain is mainly going to be used on high flow attachments. And what its use is, is going to be relieving extra pressure that is not being able to be pushed through the return side. So if we have a attachment out here on the front that has a hydraulic motor that's pushing out high, high speeds of fluid and it's getting, it's getting hot and it's needing to return back to the machine quicker than what the return side will allow, we'll often have this case drain. So on attachments that we get, most of them are going to have two hose ends. So here's my example hose of what the attachments hose ends would look like that are going to go into the machine. But sometimes you'll have a third hose on those attachments that'll also be a female coupler to attach to this case drain. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that our pressure side here is larger than our case drain. So same thing will occur on those hoses to that attachment as you will have your regular female, which will go to the pressure side, your male that'll go to the return, and then you'll have a third hose that'll have a smaller female here to go to the case drain. Now let's go over how to actually install these onto the machine. It's very, very simple, but as you'll notice, these are flat face couplers that we have here on the machine. So they're a little different looking than what you would see on a tractor, which is normally what our hydraulic setup would look like. So installing these, same principle, just a little different, but sometimes this trips people up. So let's go ahead and go over that. With the example hose here, I'm gonna start with my return side. We're just simply gonna line that up and push that on till we make that connection and pull back to make sure that's snug. Then we would take our pressure side here and go on the same way, just line those up, push that on until we hear that click. Now, if we pull back on those hoses, we feel that that's very solid and connected. Now, one thing that trips up a lot of new operators is how we take the hoses off of the machine, how we detach them from the hydraulic couplers on the machine. So as you'll notice, there are collars here on our couplers. There's a collar here on our bottom one here on the machine, and then a collar here on the top one on our hose that would be going to the attachment. Now on normal tractors and such, we normally would just pull back on this collar and that would relieve it to where we can take that loose. But on these 333Gs, whenever there's pressure built up, we oftentimes can't pull back on that collar. So what we need to do is push in, then pull back on our collar, and then that releases our coupler. And then same thing down here on the bottom, we're gonna push in, pull our coupler back, and then relieve the hose from there. Now, one thing to note is if there is no hydraulic pressure, I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect these hoses here, just like so. Now, if there is no hydraulic pressure on these, we can pull the coupler back, pull the collar back, and just relieve that from the unit as we see here. But most times with these skid steers, you are still gonna have that pressure build up as our joysticks inside are electric over hydraulic. So you're not gonna be able to re relieve all that pressure with the joystick before you get out. And so that is where the push-pull method comes into play because whenever you're pushing that in, when you're pushing that coupler in, you're actually relieving that hydraulic pressure. So by pushing this in, we can see that our coupler on the machine is actually going in and that is relieving the pressure to where then we can pull back on the collar and relieve that from the unit. Now, one thing to be mindful of when we are disconnecting attachments is that different manufacturers of different implements 
will have different hookups than what we might see here on the John Deere. So we need to be making sure that if they do have a different style like the one shown here, where we have this pin or ball system with the notch on the coupler, that we're making sure and getting those lined up correctly to be able to relieve the pressure and to remove the hose correctly from the machine. So guys, that's all there is to it. It's a very, very simple hookup here. We just wanna keep in mind what our couplers are for. We have our pressure, our case drain, and our return. And just remember that if you do get one of those attachments out front here that has that third hose, that it most likely is going to be for high flow hydraulics. So we are going to have to use it there on our case drain. Don't just overlook that and not use it as that can be very harmful to the attachment that you're going to have on that machine. If you have that third hose, definitely hook this up. And also guys, keep in mind that you may have different coupler sizes here on your pressure and relief, depending on if your machine is high flow compatible or low flow compatible. So this one is going to be for both. We have high flow and standard flow rather than low flow, standard flow here on this machine. So we have these couplers that are gonna go for both high flow and low flow. Some machines will have two separate sets of couplers for the standard flow or the high flow. This machine uses the same set no matter which pressure you're in. So just keep in mind that you may have different sizes here, but on the 333G, we're gonna have the one size, very easy to push on, pull off, and you're done with it. So guys, if you found this video helpful, we just ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out as well. Also guys, if you are having any other questions or any other concerns, make sure to leave those down in the comments section so I can get back to you. And also guys, while you're down there, make sure to scroll up just a little bit up into the description and check out that link to 247parts.com as that's where you can go to get all of your parts for your John Deere 333G or any other John Deere equipment, whether it be your tractors, gators, lawnmowers, make sure to check that out. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.